So he's maybe the most underrated player I've ever played with. Hi, I'm Tom Deacon, and I have been joined by the one and only Mr. Egil Oshtinstad at the Isolate Inn, brought to you by Kingfisher. Now, Egil, I'm going to ask you to talk us through your dream pub team. It features you, obviously, if you want to put yourself in this five-a-side team, and four other players that you have potentially played with in your career. Are you happy to do this? Uh, very much so. Then, uh, then I'm picking players that... I played with at Southampton and um, in goal, uh, I would like to put uh, Mike Taylor, uh, who was a player that uh, uh, basically came from nowhere uh, to Southampton and uh, um, made a big impact straight away, did very well and uh, for some strange reasons, uh, when Dave Jones became the manager, the first thing he he did was to, to buy a new goalkeeper uh, and, and dropped him. But Mike Taylor was a very, very good goalkeeper that came from low, the lower divisions and, um, uh, and made a big impact straight away at Southampton. I believe that I, was when it was Paul Jones you're, you're talking about got brought in and Lee yeah. Todd as well from Stockport. Yeah, that's Jones. correct. Yeah, yeah that's correct. Just... And Paul did... Jones was a great goalkeeper as well. Uh, and uh, especially... Uh, I think uh, his second season at Southampton, he did really well. But but Mike Taylor, he was uh, I think he uh, the way he came into the club from nowhere and as a really young goalkeeper, and he was and he was a great guy as well. Uh, so um, I, I would like to have him in the team because I think uh, he had the potential to become uh, a good Southampton keeper and ha have a long career there. But then things are happening when you get a new manager. That's just the way it is. Yeah, of course, goalkeeper, goalkeeper. sorted. Are yep. you putting yourself up front, obviously? I would like to play up front. I would, uh, I would like to, to play with these players. So I'm putting myself uh, up front. Um, okay. So and Mike then Taylor would like, go. Yeah, yeah. And then I would like to have one defender uh, and uh, two players that can serve me. And the mm -hmm. defender that I'm, that I'm going with, it's a very, very tight battle between uh, my friend uh, Klaus Lundekwam and but I'm decided to leave Klaus out. Uh, hope he's not listening. Uh, but I'm putting in a guy who, uh, from my time at Southampton, he's probably, I always say, he's maybe the most underrated player I've ever played with. Uh, Jason Dodd. Uh, he was the captain uh, at the time when I was at Southampton. And I never really understood how he could play in the Premier League because he, uh, he was basically always injured, uh, but he played every game. Uh, he, he couldn't run. Uh, he was uh, very, very slow, uh, but he just had a good mind and a, a great way uh, to read the game. And he always, he always did well, always steady, always steady performances and, um, uh, and a big, big heart. So uh, I'm putting Dodsey in, in the team, defending uh, our goal in front of Mike Taylor. And then I would like to have two players that could serve me, and that would be Latisse. Of course, you need to have Latisse in, in your team when you played with Latisse. Um, and uh, the other player who would maybe just as good as serving strikers as Latisse. Because the thing is with Latisse, if Latis had just a tiny, tiny chance of getting a goal himself, he would go for that. Uh, but mm. Al Berkovic, fantastic to have behind you as a striker. So I think that that would be a very, very good team. A very, very successful team. Um, obviously, the question I'm going to ask you, we are in the Isolate Inn. Uh, are all of your teammates good to have a pint with? Very good company to have a pint with, <laughs> definitely. Maybe not so sure about Mr. Berkovich, but uh, he is good fun to be around and he doesn't need to have a pint to, to be good fun. So um, he, he will join us. Well, there you go. Uh, what a, a dream pub team that is from Egil Oshtinstad. So Mike Taylor in gold, Doddy in, back in defence, Matt Latis, Ayo Berkovich, and of course yourself up front. Uh, that sounds like a, a, a dream team of a five-a-side team. <laughs> Definitely a dream team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was, was, just, just a final question. Was there anybody that you were sort of from your Southampton days that you were thinking, I'll put them in, but there's just not enough spaces? Is there one other player that, from Southampton that would stand out for you? I think uh, if I was to put myself on the bench, um, I would replace myself with uh, Marian Pahas. 
uh, he, he was, um, uh, I remember when he came and in the first couple of weeks, I, I was thinking to myself, well, who is this? He was, he looked completely lost, uh, uh, young, really young when he came and he, he looked like he was 13 when he came and um, uh, didn't speak any English. Um, and I think it was maybe the last game of the season uh, in the first season when he was there. Then suddenly he scored two goals. And then when he came back after the summer, he was just, oof, he was just flying. Tell you what, let's make this dream team uh, come back together. What a hoot that would be. I'll, I'll definitely see you in the isolating uh, brought to you by Kingfisher <laughs> for a pint afterwards. Thank you very much, Jagel. You're welcome.